week, unemployed South Carolinians will receive that additional $300 a week in federal unemployment benefits. And 7 News' Ann Maxwell spoke with stakeholders to find out what this means for them. Staffing agencies tell me they've seen an increase in people looking for work since the governor announced South Carolina is opting out of these additional unemployment benefits. But one woman who's receiving these benefits says the checks don't go as far as you might think. This afternoon, Jackie Wood sat in the waiting room at SC Works to make sure she's taking the right steps to find a new job. Now, I've just been laid off May 28, so this is going on like my fourth week of being unemployed. She says she worked as an administrative assistant at the same place for 32 years. She was let go when the company was sold. Yeah, it's hard. I've been there a long time. Right now, she's receiving the maximum unemployment benefits for the state, $326 a week. That's been bolstered by an additional $300 a week authorized by the American Rescue Plan. She says in total, it comes to $519 a week after taxes. But the $300 a week federal benefit ends after this week, meaning at maximum, unemployed South Carolinians will receive $270 a week going forward. Yeah, I'm lucky because I do have a spouse and he's working full time. But if it, I'm not sure if, I mean, if I wasn't married, if I was single, how that would be. For restaurant owner Chris Yoon, the pandemic has made a tight labor market even tighter. Hiring is definitely a pandemic in itself. He says he's not the only one having trouble. We're definitely short staff right now, as well as every other restaurant in the upstate. Local recruiting firm President Julie Brown says she's never seen such a high demand for workers. There's just is not an industry right now that's not having a hard time finding you know, talented employees. She agrees with Governor McMaster's assertion that the extra benefits incentivize some people to stay home rather than return to work. We're finding that the employees who are earning less than about 18 or $20 an hour um, seem to not have as much incentive to get back into the workforce. She says some employers are raising wages as a result, but she still expects more people to begin looking for jobs as the extra unemployment benefits end. The federal government has made these additional unemployment benefits available through September 6, but again, South Carolina is one of the states that has decided to opt out before then. In Greenville, I am Maxwell, 7 News.